Hey, what's up everyone? Today's video is going to be over Kevin's natural foods, Thai style, oh sorry, paleo Thai style coconut chicken. Tender chicken breast strips paired with a flavorful coconut curry, ready in five minutes. Whoa. So this is frozen, use or freeze by. Very nice. So what we have here is two pounds of fully cooked, perishable, keep refrigerated, Thai style coconut chicken. Uh, I got this from Costco, as you know, as you can guess, uh, through Instacart, and the the total price is usually is usually about um, a little bit less than sixteen dollars, but it was on sale, so I got it for twelve dollars and twenty seven cents after taxes and everything through Instacart. So let's see what we have here. Oh, the nutritional information: six and a half servings of one hundred and eighty calories each. So six times one hundred is six hundred. Six times eighty, five. 40, if I'm not mistaken. Oh Lord, 540, no it's not, it's 480. 480 plus 600, 10,000, uh, 10,080, and then 90 plus 90, so 11,070 calories. 11,070, 1,170 calories, 1,170 calories for this whole container. So of course I'm gonna eat this with rice because uh, I guess Asians like rice, uh, and it is Thai, so, and Thai, Thai people are considered Asians. But let's look at this. Low fat, low carb, high protein. Nice. The ingredients list, if y'all wanna read it. Okay, let me just peel this off so it's easier to see. This glare is uh, ruining my, my high production value videos here. There we go. All right, eat better without sacrificing flavor. Wow, that must be Kevin. Uh, that looks like a Thai person if I've ever seen one. Read all this. An autoimmune disorder. Wow. Okay. So the instructions are: stove top. Cook the chicken on the stove top. Not gonna do that. Don't want to do extra dishes. Uh, I don't want to use a pot or a pan, and then have an extra pot or pan to wash, so I'll just microwave it. Break chicken strips apart by massaging pouches before opening. Cut open the pouches, drain the chicken broth, and discard. The broth is a result of the sous vide cooking technique. Okay, add chicken to a tray or microwave safe bowl. Microwave on high for, t for one minute. Then add the sauce. Let's see here. Oh. After microwaving, drain the extra broth from the tray and discard it, and then pour the sauce over. Cover with a paper towel and microwave on high for another one to two minutes. Cool. Serve and enjoy. All right, then. Okay to freeze for six months, defrost in fridge for 12 hours, then follow the heating instructions. Okay, so let's see what we have here. All right, so I didn't plan this ahead of time, uh, but everything's frozen solid, so let me... Uh, Defrost for 12 hours, like the instructions say. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Defrost and fridge for 12 hours. All right, 12 hours later, we have the chicken and the sauce, okay? Um, it comes with two of each, but I put one in the refrigerator to eat uh, for a different meal. So now I'm gonna open this and dump it in here and drain the sous vide, uh, sous vide broth, chicken water. There we go, there's the chicken. I should have massaged it better before throwing it in here, but I didn't and that's okay. It sort of looks like, uh, well, yeah, I'm not saying it is, but it sort of looks like it's, there's meat glue involved here and the chicken's kind of stuck together. Um, but it smells like chicken and I drained the water too. And uh, the water also smelled like chicken. So I'm gonna throw it in the microwave for one minute. I think I just quit. There we go. And it's done. Let's pop it out of the microwave. Take a look at it. There we go, there's some extra chicken broth there. Let me go ahead and dump it out. Oh, I sure hope my chicken doesn't fall in the sink. There we go. I'm gonna bring it back to this fancy uh, counter top here. And then add the sauce. There we go, there's the sauce. It might not look that appetizing right now, but in the end, uh, 
we'll put it all together. And I think it also said to cover with the paper towel, but I don't wanna waste the paper towel, so I just do this. Good enough. It's, this should prevent all the splashing if any occurs in the microwave. And then it said one to two minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and do in between one and a half minutes. Oh, give me, there we go. All right. So you can't tell through the, uh, through the video, but this actually smells really good. It legitimately smells like a Thai restaurant right now. There's a smell of coconut curry, and well, that, that's about it. It smells like really good smelling coconut curry. All right, here we go. This is it at the end, but of course, I'm gonna add rice to it. So give me one moment and I'm gonna add some rice. There it is. It looks and smells incredible. I got my nice fluffy white rice. Oh man, I can't wait for the taste test. There's the chicken. Let's see if I can break it up and see if it actually looks like chicken. Yeah, it looks like chicken. Nice. All right, I'm gonna do a little taste test here. Let's start with the sauce. Mm, it's sweet. Um, but yeah, it, it tastes just like coconut curry you, you get in restaurants. Uh, but I guess uh, it's more catered to the American palate because it is sweeter. And I've had some friends who are, um, who are legit Thai or who eat, you know, legit authentic Thai food. And they say that uh, it's usually not this sweet, but wow, this is quite good. All right, I'm gonna get a little bite with a little bit of everything here. Actually, I need some more sauce. Sorry, I'm drooling right now. Mmm. Yeah, man, this is pretty good for 12 bucks um, per, okay, well, it says six and a half servings, but let's be honest, it's two servings. For 12 bucks for two servings, $6, right? I guess plus some rice, so maybe $7. This is way cheaper and uh, pretty good compared to, to going out to eat at a Thai restaurant. Uh, you can just buy some extra chilies if you like it spicier season it yourself, you get to make your own rice. So a lot of the restaurants rices are a bit of a crapshoot. It can be really good or sometimes really mushy or something like that. But yeah, wow, this is good. That's it for this video. I'm gonna enjoy this. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, have a good one.